here. David was electric here. This is our all electric 911, 1973 Targa. It's our client's dream car. He's been waiting about 40 years for a 73. And uh, he picked this car up specifically to make it electric. So we're gonna take it out today, see what she can do. So first things first, no, we didn't cut up a vintage Porsche 911. Uh, we don't make any permanent modifications in any of our cars. We kind of pride ourselves on working around the original design. We always want to improve it, make it more dependable. We have a uh, 54 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack. We're using the Tesla Model S uh, modules. And it's fantastic because uh, we can really bring the uh, the range up to 150 miles, 180 miles. Um, it's really 150 miles if you drive it like a Porsche, but if you're in a lot of traffic, it'll go further. So we're matching the horsepower of the original S. This is about 180, a little bit more than 180 horsepower. Here to 60. I did set up the camera once. Uh, it's a little bit at an odd angle, so I think we're probably about seven or eight seconds. Um, and then top speed, um, doing the math, we should get 150. Uh, no problem. So this time around we get to use a dual motor. It's uh, larger and of course it's higher horsepower. It's really too big to fit in uh, the VW Beetle, but it fits perfectly in the motor bay of the 911. It's 180 horsepower, 214 pound-feet of instant torque, so you can dart out into traffic from third gear from a dead stop and, um, well, you know, blow the doors off of your neighbors. You can still run through all the gears, but really not necessary. Just like the Beatles, we have a drive-by wire throttle system, so that provides a really wonderful pedal feel. We also have regen on the fly. Uh, the Porsche 911 had a, a throttle switch or a throttle lever right in the center console by the e-brake. So now you can pull up on that and you have regen on the fly. Um, really nice to turn that on when you're out in the hills and uh, you want to have all that engine brake feel. But out on the highway, um, you can push the lever down and you'll just be coasting when you let off the throttle. There's also a uh, sensor in the clutch and in the uh, the brake lines. So when you put in the clutch now, the motor is going to be be uh, better at rev matching the transmission. And when you step on the brake pedal, that's going to kick up the amount of regen that uh, the motor delivers. Let's see what else do we have here. We have the uh, our state of charge meter, which is our new fuel gauge. So that's going to let you know what the uh, the charge of the battery pack is. And um, one of the the things that we did add to the dash is a reverse switch. So you don't have to put the car in reverse. You can just flip this switch, and it will go backwards. This is a cool trick I'm really happy about. We were able to repurpose the heater lever. Um, no longer does it just simply open up the flaps to let in uh, gasoline-scented hot air into the cabin. It turns on our electric ceramic heater, warms up the cabin super quick. So there you go. Those are the specs. Other than that, it's a proper looking stock 911. Fuel tank in the front, motor in the back, roof comes off. <laughs> and from a handling standpoint, uh, we moved more weight up front so the, the rear end doesn't hang out as much. And um, I mean, what can I tell you? I'm, I'm used to driving Beetles, so this is just so far superior. We we had German race car driver Tim Schrick come out and drive the car, and he just absolutely loved it. He had a huge smile on his face uh, the entire time. I think the rain kind of helped, but, uh, you know, he had never been in anything like it before. Nobody has, really. Uh, there's, there's a couple more electric 911s out there, but uh, I believe this is the world's only 
911 that is using the Tesla Model S batteries. And it's absolutely fabulous, and I'm so thankful that uh, we had the opportunity to fulfill our client's dream, his dream car of a 73 Porsche 911. a lot for watching this far and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below you can email me david at zelectric.com and uh, check our twitter and our facebook and all those things and uh, stay up to date